Hi there, Jamie here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to show you three different ways you can password protect your Excel files. So let's say you have some sensitive information, for example, like this student list with contact and personal information, and you want to make sure that it doesn't get into the wrong hands. There's a couple different ways you can protect your files in Microsoft Excel. Well, you can protect them from even being opening up, or you could protect them at the sheet level so people can't make any changes. And I'm going to show you uh, these different ways. So first of all, let's stop people from opening up this file because we don't even want it to be viewed, and we want to put a password password on it. Now I'm going to go up to the tabs and click on file here. And when you get to file, take a look under info and you notice that there's protect workbook. And what I want to do at this stage here is go to encrypt with a password. So I'm just going to click on this and this is where it's going to say to enter your password. And notice that it's telling you to be uh, cautious with this because there's no way to open it up again if you forget it. So make sure you write this down. But there is actually a way to hack this. Uh, I'll show you in a different video how you can do this and I'll put the link down below in the description or in the card up above. But it's just easier to make sure that you write your passwords down. So I'm going to go ahead, put a password. It won't be too complicated here and put OK. And I have to re-enter the password like so. And then so what I'm going to do actually at this point is I close down my Excel and I'll just save this and I'll close this down. Here's the file right here. So if someone was going to go ahead and try to open this, you're going to see right away, they can't see anything. It's going to require that password to be able to view it again. So that's one way that you can do this. I want to show you another way you can encrypt it or sorry, put a password on it. Uh, if I go to file here and go save as, uh, now take a look at this. If you go to browse and you can see when you go to save down here, there's tools. If I go to here and just pick general options, here's another way you can put a password on it. So you can check other places, other documents for this too. But if I was uh, going to put a password here, and I'm going to make sure I type it again correctly, and you can see read only recommend, I'm just going to hit OK, uh, put my password here, and hit save. And I'm going to actually go back to the level and I'm going to just put a second one on here just to give it a, an example here. I'll put save. And now what I'm going to do, I'll just uh, close out of this one. And you can see here's my second one. And if I go ahead and open it, I get the password again. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that wasn't a very hard password. Uh, and there we go. So uh, that's two different ways you can secure it from uh, from this. Now, another way would be to protect your sheet. And if you notice when you're we're back here, and if I was under info, drop down, I can say protect uh, protect current sheet from here too. If I go to here, if I look under review, it's the same thing over here. So protect sheet. So if I go ahead and just click on this you'll see right away that it will protect the sheet. I'll just hit OK. Notice this is where I put my password, but I'm not going to put one just to show you this first one. If I click on it now, try to change something, it gives me the uh, information that I can't change anything. But this isn't very well protected because if anybody knows Excel, they can just go ahead and click on this again and it turns it off. So to add that level of security to this Microsoft Excel sheet, uh, if we go here and we put in our password, uh, we can hit OK and I have to re-enter it hit OK. Now, if someone was going to go change any of these things, then we could uh, make sure that they need a password when they click on this again to unprotect it. I do want to point out there is another way to get to the same thing, a third way. If I right click on this, you can see right down here we have protect sheet. And when I click on it, I get to the same thing as above. So I hope you like these three different ways to protect your Microsoft Excel sheets with password today on Teacher's Deck. Uh, thanks for watching this time. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.